Uh, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders for preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And I say Shalom to you, Akim, out there. And this is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring out. And this is from msn.com, uh, from the uh, Associated Press, 41 minutes ago. And it reads, uh, U.S. and allies conduct more drills in face of North Korea threat. The United States, South Korea, and Japan conduct a joint missile defense exercise Monday in waters near the Korean Peninsula as they expand expand military training to counter the growing threats of North Korea's nuclear capability missiles. And it says, uh, last week, North Korea conducted one of its more, I mean, one of its most proactive, provocative missiles, if I pronounce that right, uh, demonstrating demonstrations in year years by flight testing for the first time in an intercontinental ballistic missile powered by a solid pro prevalence and it's pursue a weapons that's more responsive harder to detect and could directly target a continental US United States which is Guam Guam is one of them because uh, Guam is a, a new United States territory. It says, uh, it says North Korea's unprecedented runs of missile tests has so far involved more than a hundred missiles of various range fired into the sea since the start of 2022 as the country attempts to build a viable nuclear arsenal that could threaten its rival neighbors and the United States. It says the South Korean U.S. Japan training could trigger a belligerent response from North Korea, which condemns the United States military drills with its Asian allies as an invasion rehearsal. The North has used those drills as a pretext to accelerate its own weapons development, creating a cycle for a TIF attack that has raised tensions in recent months. It says uh, South Korea's Navy said Monday, three-way Navy drill took place in international waters off the country's eastern coast and focused on mastering them procedures for detecting, tracking, and sharing information on incoming North Korea ballistic missiles. The one-day naval exercise involved in this is destroyed from each country. The goal is to improve our uh, response capabilities against ballistic missiles, strengthen our abilities to conduct operations as North Korean Nuclear and military threats continues to escalate. Jang Do Young, a spokesperson of South Korea's Navy, said in a news briefing, Japan's joint staff in a statement stressed the need to strengthen the trilateral cooperation as the security involvement around Japan increasingly become uh, severe because of North Korea's missile activities. It says uh, the United States and South Korea also launched drills moving some 110 warplanes, including a advanced F-35 jet that will continue through April 28th. The United States and South Korean aerial drills are designed to enhance combat air power execution and train air crews to successful response to combat scenarios 
involving a rebuilt surface to air and air to air threats. According to the military's the training events reaffirm the U.S. Iron Claw commitment to the ROK, the U.S. 7 Air Force said in a statement using a national of South Korea's former name, the Republican of Korea. And as of also Monday, South Korea and Japan resumed a security meeting of senior diplomats and defense officials following a five-year hiatus. Uh, the meeting is one of many recent events that shows ties between Seoul and Tokyo are improving in the face of North Korea involved in the face of North Korea's involving nuclear threats at the years of disputes of over history and trade. It says during the Monday's meeting, South Korea Defense Minister said uh, Seoul and Tokyo discussed North Korea's nuclear program in trilateral cooperation with the United States. The United States and South Korea conducted their biggest file exercise in years in March and have also held separate naval and aerial drills involving a U.S. aircraft carrier battle ground and nuclear capability B-52 bombers. Uh, the North responded by dialing up its own testing activity. It says Monday marks an 11th grade day that Korea has not responded to South Korea's checkup calls on a set of cross-border inter-Korean hotlines. South Korean officials said raising concerns about a potential Kina provocations, communications of those channels are meant to prevent accident clashes along the rival seaboards. On Saturday, a South Korean naval vessel fired warning shots to repel at North Korea's patrol vessel that temporarily closed the country's dispute western sea boundaries while chasing a Chinese fishing boat. There were no exchanges of fire between the North and South Korean vessels. While the South military strengthens monitoring and readiness after the inclusion, it did it didn't immediately detach any unusual activities from the North Korean military. The Joint Chief of Staff spokesperson Yi Song Jong said uh, Monday. It says uh, North Korea's aggressive nuclear push under rule Kim Jong-un is aimed at forcing the United States to accept the idea of North Korea as a legitimate nuclear power and negotiated economic concessions from a position of strength and many experts say nuclear talks between Washington and Pyongyang has remained derailed since 2019. However, there's also signs that the cost of Kim's campaign is piling up as North Korea apparently grappling with food insecurity and other domestic problems worsening by the demic related border restrictions that dispute trades with uh, China its main ally in economic lifeline chasing tangible economic achievements Kim's uh, government has prioritized construct and agriculture projects This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6, and it reads through the Holy Scriptures. And ye shall hear of, uh, let me read that again, Salakia. Uh, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6, and it reads through the Holy Scriptures. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, see that ye be not troubled for it. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Right, that's what you call a, a you know, a rumor, rumor of war between the increasing tensions uh, North Korea versus Japan, 
South Korea and the United States as the tensions continues to spark at an all time high. Now so more than ever, and this is Matthew 24 and 7, and it reads through the Holy Scriptures. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Right, this is what you call a this is what you call a nation shall rise against nation. <laughs> and it's starting off with the uh increasing of these military exercise drills on both sides and firing off missiles, uh full training naval training, military exercise training, uh, growing their nuclear capability. So that's what you call, you know, an increasing rumors of wars between these nations and nations shall rise against nations. So that's what we're definitely seeing, seeing that between uh, North Korea versus South Korea, Japan, and the United States as tensions continues to spark and increase now so more than ever. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was edifying. And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Wakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders for preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim. Scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well too. And until next time, I will say shalom.